you want to see a rough opal turn into one of the best black opals I've ever cut, stick around. G'day and welcome to Black Opal Direct. My name's Justin. Well, have I got a treat for you today. Wow. What an amazing piece of seam opal that I've got. A few weeks ago I showed you some videos about seam opal and how it can be, I guess, uh, it, it can cut not so good. And this time I'm going to show you what the best of seam opal can do. This piece of seam opal has some of the best colour I've seen. We're looking at eight to ten thousand dollars a carat and there's a stone in there, I know there's a stone in there, almost a hundred percent, but it's about carrots today. It's about getting enough carrots to make my money back. Now this cost me $25,000. Now it's, it's a big expense for one piece and so much can go wrong. There could be a crack that I never saw, there could be potch inside the color that I never knew about and it would just change everything dramatically. So what I really need to get out of this piece is at least four carrots. Four carrots of clean color and we have awesome profit. If I make six carrots out of the whole piece at $8,000 a carrot, we're making fantastic profit. So this is the challenge today. We're gonna to try our best to get as many carrots out as I can in an oval or a cushion cut shape, depending on what happens when I'm on the wheel. So let's get to it. This is going to be intense, I promise you. As a gem cutter, we all go through life looking for the ultimate gem, the one that you will never forget. And I think this is one of them. I've spent pretty much the last two weeks studying this piece, trying to figure out where to cut it, drawing pictures on it, visualizing, because once I've made my cuts, there's no turning back and every carrot counts here. All right, well, this is going to be one of the biggest challenges I've had in a long time. We have got eight to $10,000 a carrot color right there. And my goal is to get more than four carrots in that, in that spot there. And if I get more than four carrots, then we are making money. If I don't, then we're losing money. So I need to do a little bit more of a clean up on this side here just to see if there's any color that comes under there and where this color under here starts over here. So we'll get on that wheel first and just take a little bit off that side. So let's get going. I've decided to take you through every step and not fast forward a thing because I think this piece is really worth it. Look at that. There's one little red dot right there. Oops. Now I wonder what that means and whether that connects up under here. This is a... Wow, okay. Bit by bit I take the potch away to see if there's anything underneath, any colour that could make this stone just a little bit bigger. Oh boy. Wow, look at that colour underneath on the back side. Now that's going to be riddled with sand, but wow, look at that colour and pattern. Oh, Lord. That throws a spanner in the works. What am I going to do? Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slice on this angle here to get as much of this colour on the edge. That's going to be a scary slice right there. It goes right around through that sand hole. 
and back around to there. Wow. That's going to be a tough one. So we pretty much, pretty much want to go So that way, I know there's a step right here where this good colour is, but if I can roll that down a little bit and get a little bit more length out of that stone on here, then that'll be great. So this is going to be one of the most precise cuts I've had to do in a long time. I can go along that groove there, and then pretty much all of that sand there is going to be uh, that colour is eaten, beaten by sand right there, so we can slice through there too. So we're going to go from there, and that does not work. No, we need to go from there across here. Wow, okay. So that's not going to work from there. As you can tell, I'm making mistakes. I'm trying to film, concentrate, cut an opal and keep it all in focus all at the same time. I need to start focusing properly. You can see here where I've sliced, I've chickened out. I didn't actually slice quite on the line because I just had a feeling that I needed more meat on the big stone rather than the little. So it's best for me to forego some of the little colour than that big piece. And I think I was right. <laughs> Jeez. Holy dooly, that's some nice colour in there. And I think I got it right on the edge where that potch is there. That was stressful. There's some crazy good colour that I've just sliced through uh, the middle of, but I, uh, I do believe I made the right decision because there's potch coming in on that edge, so it's making the end of the stone quite skinny. Um, so we're gonna aim for a smaller stone in here and a nice bigger stone. So we could get an extra, possibly one and a half carats out of that. So this could be our saving grace. All right, so the first thing we need to do is when we're on the, the on the fine wheel here um, and we're going to, now this is the main piece, but we're going to test this piece out first. Now it does have sand in there, but look at that colour. The colour is ridiculous in there. So uh, we need to take it very slowly and work on it and see how many carrots or even points I can get out of this stone. So today we're using the 500 grit wheel because we want to save and be as cautious as possible saving as many carrots as we can. I'm using the finer wheel because it takes a lot less off than the rougher wheels, meaning I can go slower, more carefully and make sure that I don't waste good colour. Also the finer wheel puts finer scratches in the stone so they're more easy to get out when I do the final polish. Alright so I'm just going to take the sand off the top and hopefully some really pretty colour shows up underneath. Having a go at the smaller piece first helps us get a good idea of how to tackle this type of colour before we start on the larger gem. It's like a test before the main event.
come on sand spots come out oh <laughs> look at that color wow <laughs> that came that came clean so quickly oh my goodness oh that's really bright red too look at that oh unbelievable color unbelievable wow 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 oh look at that Just trying to get that little bit of potch out there on the edge. Then we should be good to go. Wow. <laughs> oh. We are now going for the big piece. And this, my friends, is going to be a massive challenge. Look at that colour right there. That's ridiculous colour right there. which is all pretty much the same colour. So we're looking at something quite large. And uh, let's hope, and my hope is that the colour goes underneath this potch a little bit to make the stone even bigger. This area here, we're probably going to slice off eventually once we figure out how far that nice pattern goes. Because when we look at it from here, and see that there's a layer and then there's nice pattern underneath so we're just going to follow that in and see how far back we go rightio so first part is to just bring that potch side in a little bit hang on a minute now that sand is going to eat all of that. Okay. So the sand is eating all of that colour there, which is nice colour. And I think if I just test it by rolling that over a bit, we may hit colour underneath. No, we're not. Ooh, jeez Louise. So here's crux time with this bit of potch right there. It seems to be going on a slope angle. 
and it needs to needs to come out more. And I don't like its chances. You can see that color starting to creep up as I come in further it creeps up which is really good really good sand spot here that's that has to come out and that potch has to come out otherwise I'm in trouble oh come on coming out <laughs> okay so now I'm going to just take a bit of this here I'm going to take a little bit of that off the surface and see if this color comes back further that way at all and it is it is. So far it seems luck seems to be going my way. Wow, okay. Ooh. I'm not sure what to do. Stopping and studying the piece, even walking away from the cutting machine and studying it can make such a difference in your final decision and really can make a difference also to the size and colour of your opal. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take a big risk. I might slice slice that across there. And then go for a stone here, which is still a beautiful stone too, and could get better. And then work on our main stone. Yep. This slice is the defining point. The point where the biggest crux happens of the stone, where I find more color bar underneath. And the question is, did I make a mistake? So before we take this on the wheel, um, I'm just going to turn the light off and get the gem torch in there and have a look at where this potch goes. And you can see there that it's disappearing on the edges. And underneath, there is some really nice colour. So all is looking so, so good. That's that colour color bar that I just sliced through right there. And you can see that there's, it's clean. So as I roll over that side and bring it in a little bit, that stone gets bigger. 
that's pretty special pretty special people <laughs> let's get that light going and the machine on and let's see how many carrots we get out of this baby <laughs> Now it's a bit late to say I'm going in, but this is the crunch time right here to see what happens if the stone becomes bigger and better than I imagined. So with the colour here is not as good, um, I think we can bring this in safely and possibly cut pretty much the greatest cushion cut of all time that I've cut. That will be unbelievable. Wow, okay. Let's do that. pressure is now on. With every carrot at $8,000 a carrot, I'm losing colour every grind. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> that, that potch just rolled straight out there, straight out as I turned, oh wow, oh magnificent, we just made another probably two carrots added onto this stone, oh wow. <laughs> Oh, this is gold. I mean, opal. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It seems my hunch was right. The potch rolled out of the side of the stone and I've saved about two carrots. So this stone seems to be, or is going to be, much larger than I had imagined. I'm not sure if that was skill or just dumb luck, but anyway, I'm not going to question it too much. I'm pretty nervous and happy all at the same time. Oh, I'm shaking. So it looks like it's going to be a cushion cut and a beautiful one at that. What seems to be emerging in the stone is some of my favourite patterns and that's flagstone and chaff together but I'm seeing a little bit of floral pattern at the same time. What a cracker of a gem. With the nerves slowly going and the excitement starting to kick in, I totally forgot about the smaller piece I sliced off earlier. Wow. 
Oh, I forgot. I forgot we need to work on the other little piece too. <laughs> I was so carried away with the big piece that I forgot about this guy and this guy's got a gorgeous stone sitting in it too. You can see also where I sliced it. Um, that there's nice colour sitting underneath the sand on top. It may look like I'm wasting good opal here, but I am trimming the better colour from the holes in the back. The opal has lighter spots and patches as well, so it makes it more pleasing and a more saleable stone when it's one body tone. Magic little gem as well. It's just one of those days where everything is working out. Like everything is going even better than to plan. I mean, look, look at this piece. I've just started taking a little bit off the top and the color's just getting better and better. Can, can the day get any better? I think it could actually if we just weigh all these stones together and see how many carrots we've got. Oh, wow. Let's do that. Well, here comes the big test. Now, they're not polished as yet, but there's so many more carrots coming out of this than I, uh, than I anticipated. So we're just turning the scales on and waiting for them to calibrate with a drum roll. How many carrots have we got so far? Three stones, mind you, three stones. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> That is just a joke. That can't, that can't be real. That can't be real. How can there be 14 carrots? It's 14 carrots. <laughs> That's just out of this world. The cushion cut by itself right now is 9.56 carrots, so once it's cut, I'd say it'll probably be around the eight carats all by itself. This is a big win. If they all polish up beautiful, this is a big win. Wow. And the two, the two smaller stones come out at 4.92 carats together. And they will cut probably at Ah, uh, you don't need to listen to me rambling on here. I'm just getting a bit excited about these opals.
Well, wasn't that an absolute awesome journey? I mean, I never expected that many carrots out of this one piece. I was hoping for four and look what we got. So let's go through and weigh the stones each and give them a price and I'm looking forward to this bit. So let's get that machine scales on. And I'm gonna leave the cushion cut till last because that's probably the most exciting. So we're going with the triangular drop shape first and that's come out at 2.58 carats. That's pretty cool. Let's put that on the calculator, 2.58 times, and I think this piece is around 5,000 a carat. So that's turned out to be a $12,900 gem. <laughs> Pretty happy when I wasn't expecting that to be anything at all. Now the little drop shape, let's have a go at that. 1.36 carats. Now let's go 1.36 times 3,000 a carat. So I think this one's 3,000 a carat, only because it's a little bit off the face. It's got plenty of color when you move it around, uh, but you do have to move it around to find the red in it. And there is some red, definitely, but you do. Uh, and that turns out to be about a $4,000 gem, which is fantastic. I mean, what a beautiful little gem. So it is adding up. And now for the cushion cut after it was nine point something carats uh, as a rub and we have now polished it so it's lost a lot of weight um, and it's been cleaned up on the back so i've taken a lot of weight away from it but wow actually it's not that bad it's actually 8.36 carats so i've really only essentially lost about one carat polishing it so that's pretty cool very happy about that 8.36 times and i think I think the $8,000 a carat is about right. So that ends up being a $66,800 beautiful gem. Really, really happy with that. What an amazing lot. And if you add them all up, that would be 80, about $84,000, $84,000 worth of gems that we got out of that piece. So I think that deserves a celebration. Thanks for watching.